Hey guys, it's Alex here. So today I want to show you guys my two most worn um, hairstyles other than when I keep it down. So like kind of my updos, but I'm going to show you a way to do these hairstyles um, in many different ways so they don't have to be updos. So basically these are two really easy and versatile braided hairstyles. You can wear them up, you can wear them down, you can do ponytails, you can do buns, you can do anything. And I'll explain all that once we get in the video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the first <clears throat> look I'm going to start off with is a Dutch braid. So I'm first taking <clears throat> the sections of hair that I don't want incorporated in the braid because I prefer to have hair framing my face when I have my hair up. So I'm just taking off a little chunk from the side that I'm braiding to save so it's not in my braid if that makes sense. So I'm going to start um, with three small pieces and do a Dutch braid. That's where you basically you take three pieces but you braid it underneath instead of on top like you would in a french braid and then you just take the small strands from the outside and cross them underneath and just continue to do this um, over and over and over until you get about to your ear and once that happens I will address um, it from there And if you don't know how to Dutch braid, there are so many tutorials online nowadays that are super simple and easy and they explain a lot better than I do. So feel free to look up one of those. But it's basically just like reverse French braiding. So once you get down to your ear, what you want to do is you want to just braid straight down. So no more um, incorporating outside pieces, just go all the way down your hair. And at the bottom, tie it with a clear elastic. Now that it's tied off, we are going to voluminize the braid. So we are just going to fluff it out back and forth repeatedly. And at the top, you want to be careful because you don't want to pull out too much. But we're just going to loosen it up to make it look a lot fuller and make our hair look like it's a lot more thick. And once you're at that point, you can leave it down like that, or the way I usually like to wear it is in an updo. So you can do this in a ponytail, you can do it in a messy bun, you can do it, um, you can obviously leave it down, you can make it into a braid in the back. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it into a braid, but I'm not going to leave it as a braid. So if you make it as a braid, I would suggest making look the braid look a little bit nicer, but since I'm going to braid it into a bun, I don't. it doesn't matter how the braid looks. And you don't have to braid it into a bun, but the reason why I braid it into a bun is because I have so much hair that if I just, if I don't um, braid it, it's really hard to make it into a bun and make it stay. So from there, I'm just going to twist it around and kind of hide the, the clear elastic in there and tie off with a black rubber band or black ponytail. And then undo the hair that you saved off. And you are good to go. Now for my second hairstyle, this one is a little bit more complicated. But nonetheless, it's still relatively easy. It takes me about five-ish minutes. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the other piece of hair. I'm going to save a piece that I do not want. And I would take it from the section where you have more hair. So if you have a side part, braid the section where you have more of your part, I guess. So I'm going to divide it into two, and we are going to do a Dutch fishtail. So it's basically like a French fishtail, but the reverse, so it's Dutch. So instead of crossing the two pieces um, on top of each other, you're going to cross them underneath, and then you're going to incorporate a piece of hair in with each one. I personally think French fishtailing is a lot easier than French braiding, just because there's only two pieces rather than three. So this one's fairly easy. So once you cross that piece from one side underneath to the next, just take another piece of hair from outside of your little fishtail and add that in. The worst part about this hairstyle is getting it started just because you have to take work with such small pieces that it's hard to um, get the top to work out. But once you're through, I would say the top 5-10%, you're good. So 
So this one is obviously more time consuming because it's um, smaller pieces, but you just want to keep fish tailing all the way until you get to your ear, just like the last hairstyle. I don't know why my hair looks like it has roots in it. Like, I don't, I don't dye my hair. My hair is just so weird sometimes. It looks like I have roots some days. Some days it looks super blonde. Some days it looks super brown. Some days it looks strawberry blonde. Some days it looks caramel. People tell me all the time that my hair looks a different color than when they saw it last. Or, like, if I dyed it. It's just really odd. But, you just gotta work with what you have. This, honestly, I really like this hairstyle because it looks like it gives your hair lots of texture and it looks really great. So once you get down to your ear, you are just going to stop incorporating pieces from outside and just do a regular Dutch fish tail to the bottom. And this does not have to look perfect by any means because Fishtails, especially the way we're going to make it look at the end, it's perfectly fine if it looks a little bit sloppy and texturized. So I choose the bottom cleared off, or um, tied off with a clear elastic. And then we are going to fluff it up and voluminize it. So just pull out chunks and make them really loose and bulky so they look really nice and voluminous. This one turned out really good today. And again, be careful the top so you don't pull out too much. And once you finish texturizing, you can feel free to leave it down if you'd like. Um, like so. And that's what it looks like down. Or, my favorite way to wear this is up in a pony. Because you can see the, um, the whole um, fishtail. So instead of braiding it off like I did for the last one, I like to see the bottom of the fishtail just because I really like the way it looks. So I just keep it down in um, a regular ponytail. And that is what it looks like. guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any new content to come also please leave some requests in the comments of upcoming videos you'd like to see and let me know if you guys would like to see more hair videos um and like hairstyle uh looks that i like to do and thank you guys so much for watching have a great day